technological feats. Actually, because still there are so many controversies about it. Hey guys, it's, it's the loud, loud guy. guys. Today we are going to watch. This is why NASA never returned to the moon. And like we also have that same question, like why is NASA not going to the moon back again? Because now we see like all the missions are towards Mars and that too like mainly carried out by SpaceX. Yes, NASA also follows some of the other missions, but yes. SpaceX is doing the main missions to the Mars and like it is the like main spearheading one to the Mars but now not they are not targeting towards the moon why is that so this video might answer to that question might give it the, give us the answers because like if he, if we say that india is targeting moon because like india tried to land on the like the other side of the moon the side that is not like much discovered and we tried to do that but we failed and we are trying it again like i think so this year or the next year we'll send another rocket and it might do it and like we can also help like usa in doing this you can say uh, the search of the uh, you can say the world the new Universe, what is happening and all the things around us so it will be very very exciting to know and also this video which should be also very exciting to understand yes even i am uh, you know excited and curious at the same time to watch this video because i enjoy a lot watching universe like you know i enjoy this that okay what can be there in the universe what all things are there i'm very excited and curious to know and moon like who's who is the person who doesn't wants to know about moon it looks so beautiful from here and like before we used to you know send very send so much of satellites and uh, the things to the moon to know much about the moon but now it's not happening so let's see what can be the reason because maybe now we are more focusing on mars and not on the moon so yes let's see that what can be the reason of it yes and also if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe the channel so let's watch this video July 20th, 1969 would go down as one of the most memorable days in the space industry. Was it the first time? Most memorable day. Following the success recorded by the United States in landing two astronauts, Neil Armstrong oh. and yes. Edwin Buzz Aldrin. Neil Armstrong, the but first you know, time. But all, we all know the name of only Neil Armstrong, not the second one. I don't know why. Over yes. the following three years, ten more astronauts joined. However, no human has returned to it since December 14th, 1972. And why is that? Previously successful landings on the moon, why is it taking so long to mm. return there? Today's video reveals 10 reasons why NASA never returned to the moon reasons. 50 years after the last successful landing. Oh. 50 years. Number 10, at the end of the space race between the US and Russia. The oh. US and the Soviets were embroiled in a Cold War space race. It was mm. an extension of the nuclear arms race between the Americans and the Soviets that started after the Second World War. Mm. It was a race to demonstrate technological superiority oh. in the space industry. Great. This arms race culminated in the development of rockets. As a show of might, the Soviet Union launched the first ever satellite, Sputnik 1, on October 1957 and oh. successfully put Yuri Gagarin into space in 1961. This technology became a source of concern to United States officials as they became committed to recording a bigger win. Hmm. To them, one such win would be to develop rockets that could travel faster. This competition was also good for the world. The moon. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy outlined his administration's difficulty landing Americans on the moon. Oh. He thus appealed to Congress. This appeal came at a time when the US was trailing the Soviet Union regarding space development. Oh. We go into space because whatever mankind must undertake, free men must fully share. Though difficult, the US National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, gathered the resources needed to pull the great shot. By 1966, NASA got about 4.5% of the total federal budget, 10 times more than its present share. Ooh. The spending boost more. of NASA made the moonshot possible through the Apollo program within seven years. To many, the space race ended because the Americans beat the Soviet Union, that is, the Russians, to the moon, hence making it appear there was no longer a competition worth fighting. Mm. For instance, in 2019, the Vice President of the National Space Council, Mike Pence, explained how NASA told him that a probable return to the moon would be in 2028. A senior space policy advisor, Casey Dreyer, said no political dispensation will provide the project funds. 
Going further, he claims the only reason President John F. Kennedy committed the resources to Apollo was his view of the program to yes. front in the Cold War. NASA first conducted the first unmanned Apollo mission in 1966 unmanned. subsequently landed 12 people in lunar space on six crewed missions. The first mission was successfully launched in July 1969, mm. while five additional Apollo missions landed on the moon by 1972. Undoubtedly, this successful trip remains one of NASA's greatest, if not the greatest, technological feats. Actually, During because this mission, still there are so many controversies about it. That yielded new scientific insights <laughs> into the space industry. Each mission, of course, explored different aspects of the lunar surface. Mm. Rock samples were collected, some flags were planted. Also, the nuclear-powered mm. scientific instruments continued to send back data to Earth, although human presence on the moon was short-lived. And while the end of the space race is a possible reason why NASA never returned to the moon, there are other reasons. Number 9. Moon trips are extremely dangerous and risky. But all the other trips are also risky, you know? With a lot of life-threatening challenges, so you might like? want to reconsider your plan to take oh. your lover to the moon and back. <laughs> in July, there is no Starbucks there. During the <laughs> Apollo operations, two major accidents occurred. The first was a fire incident on the launch pad of Apollo 1. This event took the lives of three astronauts. The second incident occurred in the oxygen tank of Apollo 13. Though the tank exploded, no life was lost, and the astronauts returned safely to Earth. Tank exploded. There were reports that Neil Armstrong almost died 14 months before the launch of Apollo 11 in a lunar landing training. Ooh. Something went wrong with the spaceship's engine, and its module exploded. Armstrong would have been blown to pieces in the accident if he hadn't ejected at the right time. Wow. Reports also show that Neil Armstrong almost died while landing Apollo 11. It took the help of a U.S. Air Force meteorologist, Hank Bradley, to help land Apollo 11 safely on the Pacific Ocean. With an advanced tech satellite, Hank Bradley Boy. saw what looked like a heavy thunderstorm on the path through which the spacecraft was going to enter the Earth. Oh. He alerted oh, NASA with the help of high-ranking officers about the looming threats they faced, and proper precautions were made to divert the spacecraft to a safe landing. Other dangerous nice. aspects of traveling to the moon the accurate nature of the moon dust, the absence of sunlight for up to 14 days, extreme Ooh. heat when there is sunlight, and the incidents of wandering asteroids knocking out astronauts. But could these be enough reasons for NASA never to want to return to the moon to explore further? They're Most walking, likely, huh? but wait till you've heard about the other reasons. <laughs> what the are the reason other reasons? Why NASA never returned to the moon is astronomical. The astronomical cost, cost yeah. of traveling. Yes. yes, the cost shoots over the roof into the outer space. While Kennedy's administration budgeted around $7 billion for the program, it ended up spending over $20 billion. Whoa. The implication of this is that moon exploration is a highly double. expensive endeavor. For instance, the Apollo project cost a whopping $25.8 billion, about $264 billion in today's dollars. That is Pakistan's also, GDP. 400,000 people with support from more than 20,000 industrial firms and universities helped see the program's successful launch. What the Due to the enormous costs involved, President Richard Nixon raised serious concerns about the project. He says no reason justifies a return to the moon, especially considering the danger and expense. He also said that only competition and an economic driver could make the return to the moon a necessary endeavor. Yep. NASA's former deputy administrator, Lori Garver, pointed to the default space station freedom, now known as the International Space Station, when citing a case where Congress and industry were more concerned with the kickoff of a program rather than its sustainability. In the 80s, President Ronald Reagan announced the space station as a space hub with an initial price tag of $8 billion. But after the Space Station Freedom Program had become an international project by 2010, mm. the overall costs skyrocketed to over $100 billion. billion. Dollars. Of course, a From high seven, cost is billion, expected of any billion. huge project, especially as its scope expands. However, in the case of the ISS, NASA targets it to become more efficient. Oh. However, there was another problem. The space industry seeks a faster, cheaper, and more efficient rocket. And Artemis cannot offer the benefits as its SLS rocket is an expendable vehicle, not a reusable rocket. After every successful launch, the system's main core and side boosters will end up in the ocean. However, the good news is, is that Elon Musk's SpaceX yes. is building Starship. 
a reusable rocket to create a cheaper, greener version of space rocket. travel. So far, the project has cost $5 billion. Mm. This is unlike the SLS, which has recently gulped over $23 billion. However, SpaceX's Starship must prove that it has the architecture to succeed in the Artemis program. Currently, the SLS is on the launch pad, the only rocket within reach of NASA to pull off the moonshot. If launched successfully, the rocket will add a feather to the technological might of the United States. Wow. On the other hand, a failure would spell a major setback for the government. According to Garver, many tests will affect the whole program negatively, though it may only spell doom for part of the endeavor. The seventh reason is the constant shift in national priorities. Oh. There are more pressing matters like yes. tackling climate change, tracking asteroids. But still, it is very good that America even tries it. Issues, funding peace missions in troubled countries and eradicating terrorism. Hmm. Maybe Obama's administration wouldn't have defeated Osama bin Laden yes. if his administration had been more bothered about getting astronauts to the moon. Yep. There also came a major oil crisis in 1973, which necessitated a shift in the nation's priorities. Mm. The shift subsequently limited NASA's research and scientific missions and negatively impacted policymakers' willpower in implementing new missions to the moon and Mars. Yep. Thus, NASA's crewed space missions remained in low Earth orbit. Following this development, the budgetary allocation to NASA continued to dwindle, first at below 1%, with the allocation moving closer to 0.4%, 0.4%, it became nearly impossible to undertake any further crude. And during that moon. Kennedy time, it was about 4.5%. NASA revealed that it would cost about $104 billion, about $133 billion as of 2018, to return to the moon. My the US God. authorities are now busier with more pressing matters, so an adventurous moon exploration with theoretical benefits difficult. can wait. This is a very strong reason why NASA has not yet returned to the moon. The number six reason is the lack of public interest. Why? Oh. Public, public is very interesting. Public interest also constitutes another factor inhibiting the return to the moon. A Pew survey conducted in 2018 discovered that most Americans prefer climate-related research oh. to spending on missions to the moon or Mars. In the survey, 72% of the respondents did prefer that the U.S. continues to maintain its world leader position in space exploration, but just 13% thought that sending astronauts to the moon should be a top priority of the U.S. Oh. This challenge was most notable in some African-American communities' mm. criticism of the moon project. The Why? most notable was the Ralph Abernathy-led civil rights protest. Over oh. 500 African Americans gathered at the Kennedy Space Center carrying placards, wooden carts, and mules in protest. One of the placards read, $12 a day to feed an astronaut. Oh. We could feed a starving child for eight. Undoubtedly, oh. the Apollo space program was starting to divide the American people, and it became obvious that the US People always feel like, why are we going for all this when you are not even wild. taking care of us? Yes, there is a theory of that the number of kids and youth problem. interested in becoming After astronauts hmm. has reduced drastically over the years. But we cannot this stop looking for kids yeah. now dream all these of becoming things. successful YouTubers rather than astronauts. This reduction in the number of astro enthusiasts has made investing in a return to the moon to be less prioritized yeah. by governments and policymakers. The number five reason is a change in government and policies. Mm. A democratic society always calls for constant change in government, and each government always comes with its aspirations and beliefs. Mm. And the presidents of the United States are also not helping matters regarding NASA's plans and goals. Each administration comes with plans that target certain projects that take a lesser period to complete, neglecting the space program. This administrative whiplash makes it difficult to get committed to projects that are not only capital intensive, but will also outlast a two-term president. As you'd expect, one such program is the return to the moon. Take, for instance, in 2004, George W. Bush's directive to NASA to come up with a replacement for the space shuttle. It came up with the Constellation Program on the Space Exploration Initiative. With the program, NASA could land astronauts on the moon with a rocket and a spaceship known as Ares and Orion, respectively. The agency spent $9 billion over five years on the spaceflight program, yet the plan didn't come to fruition. After $9 billion dollars to waste, yeah, they cancelled the program in 2010, citing NASA's inability to estimate the Constellation program's costs. Oh. He stated that the program was billions of dollars over budget and was years behind schedule. After scrapping and the these things force people to like <coughs> not the SLS, like fund them at all. Launch system rocket 
and directed that NASA send astronauts to a near-Earth asteroid in preparation for a series of missions to Mars, thus putting aside the mission to the moon. Mm. Oh. The space launch system is the vehicle to transport the Artemis program's crew and cargo. NASA contracted its development to Boeing, if successfully lifted off the launch pad, the SLS will become the first new space flight vehicle NASA designed since the debut of the Space Shuttle in 1981. Oh. Despite the positive potential of the Space Launch System SLS, critics of the Artemis program have ridiculed it, tagging it the Senate Launch System. Senate However, launch when system. President Donald Trump took over, he embraced the SLS, but changed his predecessor's goal of launching astronauts to an asteroid in 2017. Instead, he prioritized missions to the moon and Mars, putting NASA oh, back on course. He did a one. He, he did the right thing. Use Artemis to return astronauts to the moon in 2024 nice. and maintain a long-term sustainable human presence as against the initial target of NASA in 2028. If only wishes were horses. His resolve was contained in his request to Congress to allot an extra 1.6 billion dollars the Artemis program in 2020. Oh. Such cost implications and frequent changes to NASA's goals and plans have resulted in several program cancellations and a heavy loss that runs into the And these things never help. Because you need a time and a loss of interest. Yeah, you need a streamlined John F. Full Kennedy, no president, work ethics to like fund the plan make sure these things the work successfully. No Before flight astronauts can ever take the flight, the of course, it's so changes. A yeah. new administration takes over yeah. and the proposed flight gets cancelled. However, the current president of the United States, Joe Biden, appears to be following his predecessor's line as he has maintained Trump's Artemis priority for NASA. Earlier this year, he requested the Congress grants $7.5 billion for the Artemis program, oh. an increase from $6.8 billion. He also refused to tamper with the Space Force. The number four that is reason, very good. The instability and unreliability. The change in government is not changing the policy. Exactly. That is good. 17 is the last mission to the moon, and Eugene Cernan is the last human to step on the surface of the moon. Eugene Why Cernan. did NASA refuse to return to the moon? Is it facing certain science or technological impediments? Unfortunately, it appears the aerospace engineers have not perfected their crafts yet, pun intended, and this is creating a big risk that seems to be an unreasonable one to take. The SLS, for example, continues to witness a series of glitches that hinder its launch. In a test conducted in April 2022, where there was an attempt to fill the rocket with fuel and drain it afterwards, the agency discovered a faulty valve and a hydrogen leak. NASA Inspector Hi, General Paul leak. Martin called out Boeing the contractor to build the SLS of a poor planning and execution. It is important to note that the last time NASA tested a brand new moon rocket was in November 1967. The rocket tested was Apollo 4, Saturn V's first flight. And a NASA report in the 1970s revealed that Apollo 4 resulted from over seven years of developmental activities with input from tens of thousands of workers in government, industry, and universities. It took a few more years for the space launch system to reach the launch pad. Oh. The number three reason, the belief that the moon is a death trap. The moon is a death trap? The tug of war what? between succeeding administrations and glitchy software. How can received, that be? And the experience of previous trips show that the moon poses serious risks to astronauts. Really? This raises the question, is the risk worth taking at all? Yes. The 4.5 billion year old rock has its surface littered with craters and boulders that seriously threaten safe landings. Oh, Before astronauts safe. could successfully land on the moon in 1969, the US government spent billions of dollars to map the surface of the moon and scout for possible landing yes. sites. Another source of worry is the environmental impact of lunar space. The first is the eons of meteorite impact, moon dust. The moon dust, also known as regolith, is electrostatically charged due to its interaction with the solar wind. This Ooh. lunar dust affected the Apollo missions, so astronauts could not stay longer in space. This challenge must be resolved to spend longer durations and build power. And landing habitats. is very difficult on Similarly, Moon. Even Indian the fact the lunar spaceship space also like crashed during landing only. For about 14 days at a time makes it emit harsh rays. This is because it has no protective atmosphere. The next 14 days, the moon becomes totally dark. Ooh. This makes the moon's surface a cold place. To tackle the period Cold of darkness, place, NASA okay. is developing a fission power system to supply astronauts with electricity. Oh. It also designed spacesuits and rovers that are sun and dust resistant and will support missions to lunar space for longer. However, it is yet to be determined whether the equipment is ready to launch. 
And this all begs the question, if lunar space comes with risks that threaten the lives of humans that land on it, mm. why not send robots there? <laughs> Actually, that's right. Is contained in yeah. NASA astronaut Buzz Aldrin's response. He says, there's no question that robots do wonderful science. But human contribution is in the value. Yes, yes. Also it can't is true. Be predicted. Actually, cited an instance when he and Neil Armstrong on Apollo 11 perceived the smell of lunar dirt. Neil Armstrong described the smell as that of wet ashes, wet while Buzz oh. Aldrin the smell was similar to that of burned charcoal after a fireworks show. <laughs> the way any robot cannot perceive or reveal the smell. It's, In yes, fact, our astronauts is... also commented on right. their perception of the smell. There is also a belief that enormous and dangerous aliens are lurking around the moon. What? There's a theory that some wow. astronauts return to Earth with alien specimens now being kept in top secret labs. Ooh. Honestly, if there are aliens out there, we are not the only civilized beings in the universe. Oh. We don't want to mess with those guys. We don't want to experience a real life Star Wars. Or do we? No. no. Number two reason, the benefits of traveling to the moon must be ascertainable. Oh. This theory believes there are not enough reasons to return to the moon. The project benefits are based on theoretical beliefs and the government is reluctant to take the risk and invest a considerable chunk of taxpayers' money on such a project. This school of thought believes that the real problem is not that of returning to the moon, but that of what is in it to gain. There is more to planning to return to the moon than just proof of the ability to return there. The debate over the years is whether traveling to the moon is even worth it in the first place. Oh. The main query is, are there scientific or provable benefits to this exploration? But it is worth it, Some no? astro researchers believe the moon is a good place wow. to learn about the solar yes. system's evolution. The reason is simple. The moon has no atmosphere or flowing water. Mm. It is not subject to erosion and weathering. Thus, we can be certain to have the evidence of its origin preserved. This was the opinion of David Kring, a lunar geologist. However, in 2003, there was an incident where the space shuttle Columbia crashed above the Earth's atmosphere. This no. left the seven crew members dead. This again raised the question of why people risk their lives traveling yes. into space. At that moment, President George W. Bush developed a new mission for NASA. According to him, if space exploration puts people's lives at risk, landing on the moon might be their best bet. Oh. But is the risk worth it? This is certainly yes. one of the questions preventing NASA from returning to the moon. And finally, number, the number one. one reason that the successful travels of Apollo 11 to and from the moon were a total sham. Were a sham? With all the evidential proof shown to the world about the success of Apollo 11's travels to and from the moon, some people still believe that the, the whole operation fake was controversies. fake. The fake Casing was at the forefront of this theory. The 1976 we Casing never published went to the a pamphlet moon. titled, We Never Went to the Moon. He argues that the US does not there. have the technical capabilities to make a successful trip to the moon and back. What the His hell? opinions were so convincing since he argued from an insider's perspective. He did, in fact, help contribute to the US space program and took part in designing the Saturn V rocket engines. Huh? This school of thought believes that since we cannot create a spaceship competent enough to make the travels, there was no way we could have traveled or planned to travel again to the moon. So the question now is this. What will it take for NASA to fulfill the wish of landing a new crew of astronauts on the moon? Also, now that we've seen China building a robust space program, will this bold step by China stir up the competitive spirit in NASA to stage a more groundbreaking return to the moon? All the reasons of this video were really true. Like, this is a very expensive process. This was the most important reason I found out. And the another important reason was, is it really worth it to, you know, risk the lives of people, lives of human, the astronauts who go there? Because it proves that, okay, the landing on the moon is not safe. So it is not sure after even, you know, spending so much of billions of dollars into this mission you are not sure that it is going to be a successful mission or not and after that you are not sure that the astronauts are going to return like properly or not so yeah this is a these are the big questions that okay should we carry on the moon mission still after knowing these facts or not and then the another risk factor was that there are possible chances of being aliens on the moon. Oh God, I'm listening. I was listening to this for the first time that, okay, there can be even aliens on the moon. Like I have heard that, okay, there can be the existence of aliens on another planets or maybe somewhere in the universe, but on the moon, okay, 
this is something different for me but yeah this whole video was really uh, you know knowledgeable and even people will think now that okay there are really serious and serious problems going on in the nation then why you want to uh, spend uh, billions of dollars in this mission when your people are starving and they are suffering over here so you should look after them and yeah these are the serious problems so uh, this should be sorted out first and of course this should be also carried on but first nation and then you can carry on with the missions of course so uh, this video is really knowledgeable yes because people say that if we are there then only we can explore other things huh? so you should focus on that but yeah i am also like big in for that and we should focus on exploring the world and all the uh, superpowers of the world should come together and they should try and like help each other in doing this because this is very very important for us for humanity also we need to like focus on new things search around and we need to understand where did we come from how did all these things happen so it is very very essential for us we won't be able to understand or get the answers in our lifetime but we need to see as much as we can in our lifetime and the thing is like the good thing is like we are getting back to the moon like we are trying like by 2028 or by 2030 there are plans because uh, for the last 50 years there were no plans at all and like we have to commend america for that like at start it was because of the fight with russia but now it is because of they want to explore the space and now we also see that the budget is also very strange like you know like they are only getting 0.4 to 5 yes. percent of uh, the whole budget and that is very very low but that mm -hmm. happens in each and every country in our country too it is not that good of a budget and indians like in india there are many scientists they work on a very stringent budget and they still they produce a very very like yeah. good rockets and yeah. everything like that like even our PSLVs and all these things like they also can do the same thing that American rockets do but at a very very fragmented cost and that is a very good thing for us so like let's see what we and all the other countries can do what are your opinions about it do let us know them in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe to the channel bye, bye.